Right, good morning. Today I'm discussing uh, the how to standardize a solution, standardization of a solution. And in particular here, I'll be standardizing sulfuric 6 acid using uh, sodium hydroxide. Now, standardizing is simply uh, determining the concentration of a solution using another one which is normally standard. So with me here, I'm going to have a burette. I'm going to have a retort stand. I'm going to have conical flask. I'm going to have a pipette. I'm also going to have a funnel that I'll use to fill my burette. And of course, I'm going to have an indicator which actually shows the end point of the reaction. So the first step here I'm going to pipette my sodium hydroxide and put it in a conical flask. There I am. I'm going to release it in the conical flask. I'm going to use phenolphthalein indicator and I'm going to put three drops three drops of that and I'm going to shake it like that and then the other step here I'm going to fill my burette with the acid with my acid here that I am supposed to determine its concentration now I am supposed to lower the, its volume to zero mark zero mark so the meniscus should be at zero exactly I'm there so the zero there the bit reading is actually zero the bit reading is actually zero and then from there what I'll do now I'm going to carry out my titration by just opening the top of the bit and allowing the solution to get into the conical flask. As I do this, I'm supposed to shake. there you are I have the color has changed to colorless or the pink color has just appeared and what I will do here is to record the to record the the volume and I have 16.7 16.7 now so I'm going to have a repeat of the same I'm going to have three times repeat of this to get the average tighter to get the average tighter now um, so I'm going to have other, other values Now, having obtained my values, 
let me get the average volume of sulfuric 6 acid. Now when I'm getting the average value, I'm only supposed to average the value within plus or minus 0 0.2. That means I'm going to average the two values. And what I'll get here is 16.7 uh, cubic centimeters. 16.7 cubic centimeters. Now, let's see how, having gotten the, the, the volume, remember sodium hydroxide, I pipetted 25 cubic centimeters of this. Now, how do I work out the concentration of sodium hydroxide? Now, this is the way we're going to do it. I'm going to use the idea of stoichiometry. And therefore, I'm going to have my equation, sodium hydroxide plus sodium hydroxide uh, plus sulfuric 6 acid here uh, to give me uh, the sodium sulfate plus water. I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to balance the equation here. I'm going to put a two there. So the two sodiums, two sodiums here. And then hydrogens are affected. I have four now. Then I'm going to have two there. Now, now, getting now this one here, now according to this equation, the reacting mole ratio of sodium hydroxide to sulfuric 6 acid here is 2 is to 1, because the value here is 1, 2 is to 1. Now, so the first thing will be to getting the moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, moles of sodium hydroxide can be gotten by molarity here, I multiply by volume in liters. Now, therefore, the molarity of sodium hydroxide is 1, and I've used 25 uh, cubic centimeters, I change into liters, that becomes, uh, I divide by a thousand, I get 0 0.025 moles. Now getting the moles of uh, uh, sulfuric 6 acid here, I'm going to apply the mole ratio, the mole ratio here. Now sodium hydroxide is supposed to be twice as much as sulfuric 6 acid, and therefore the moles of sulfuric 6 acid here is actually 1 over 2 of 0 0.025 which gives me 0 0.0125 moles. Now, with this one here, the moles, I do have the average volume. Now, how do I work out the molarity here? How do I work out the molarity given the moles and the volume? We said here, molarity here can be gotten from the moles. I divide by the volume in liters. Now, this one here will be the 0 0.0125. I'm going to divide by the volume in liters. We're going to change this one into liters, and I'm going to have 0 0.0167. Of course, we're just dividing by a thousand. Now, with that one there, we, we get 0 0.0125. I'm going to divide by 0 0.0167, and you'll get 0 0.7485. Capital M sulfuric six acid. That means that the solution here that I used had actually a molarity or had a concentration of 0 0.7485 moles per liter. And basically that's what we're talking about. Thank you.